Let's continue the circular inverse problem, which is more about just something is calling something. Um, I'm going to change the file A and B that I were importing the first example last time. All what I'm doing is just more printing to show you some, some more details. I have a function here that takes some string and then it imports sys and check if this string in the sys module or not and then return as a message true or false. The moral of that is I would like to check if, uh, if, the, uh, if a module exists or not in the sys module. Observe here, I'm printing in every file two top statements and two bottom statements. I'm, I'm checking if A in the, top, uh, in the top of the file is A in the sys module or not, is B in the sys module or not. And same here is in the bottom, I'm checking if A is in the check or not and B in check or not. Uh, so this is same for A and B. This is same code, same tracing. I'm just printing more messages. So let's see here what happens when you try to run... Uh, 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 C dot Python, not D dot Python. Sorry for that. When you try to run C dot C dot Python, it call A, A dot Python. A will start to check is A in the is A in the uh, sys module. The answer will be yes. Why? Because this this importing line will add A in this in the in the sys module. And then is B in in the module? No. Now you see here there is a jump to file B. Uh, checking for A exists, yes, B exists, yes. B exists now because this this importing will both be in the sys module. And after that, we'll, we'll go back to the bottom of uh, B and then the bottom of A. Let's now see uh, the, the the error case. It, uh, if you run D.by, importing B will mark it true and then we jump to B. Uh, here, importing, uh, we're in B. Importing the B, check A, it will be false because A doesn't exist, but B will be true because D dot Python market B to be true. And then it jumps to uh, A, uh, from B it jumps to A, checking A and B, find them true, and then the problem that we discussed the last time. Now I would like to show you what I meant the last time by running B dot by as a script by itself. Running B dot by surprisingly will not generate the problem. I would like you to observe the tracing. We will run b dot by. Check here is a and b exist. Both of them are false. Why b dot by is false? Why b dot by isn't in the sys module? Because you are running it at the script. The first script that you run will not be put in the sys module. And this is one of the hidden differences between a script and uh, a module in Python. Like uh, many guys will tell you. They are the same. Yes, they are the same. But the first file that you are running as a script, it isn't inserted in the sys module. And this is a very tricky and hidden difference. When you try to run b dot by, b dot by will not be put in the sys module. That's why when we start in b dot by, checking the first two modules, it will be false and false. Observe here, top b dot b comes here, and then again top b and b comes here. Why? When you start import to b, it will not it will be false so it goes to a a will ask if b exists or not it will, it will not exist it calls b again that's why you see again here b dot by other in the top again and this is the purpose of printing the top and bottom for you i wanted you to realize that when we run b as a script it isn't visible in the in the file here um what else how to handle the cycle the first thing that i would like you to know uh, if there is a cycle, 99%, this is a bad design. So the first idea is in how can you make a workaround to handle the cycle. The, the right way is to think, how can I uh, redesign the code to get rid of this cycle? This is the right and proper way to handle the problem. If it happens that you cannot solve this problem, there are a few ways that people try to do uh, to solve the problem. One of them sometimes is just to merge two files together. Like let's say A and B are cycling together. Then what if we just put both of them together? Uh, that should solve the problem. But there is a problem here from a design perspective. Remember the single responsibility principle. It says that a file or a function or a class, it should, it should focus on a specific uh, goal. If we merge two files because they are cyclic, it might violate this concept. 
another trick which we did the last time to move the import inside the function so that you break the cycle if it's possible to do that then this is one way to do it just move the import inside the function or a class in a specific methods so that you get rid of the cycle this is also what we call conditional import I will leave that as a future reading for you I would like also to show you the dire function and its effect on the um, its effect on the uh, namespace remember the dire function will return for you a list of strings representing the names that are visible in your code let's run it in the begin here we have dire function so it will give us a bunch of standard things that we have if we try to import our lab you will notice that our lib now will be visible in the uh, in the dire function here if you try to import uh, to, to, to run dire on our lib itself you will only see what is visible inside it we have two functions square and someone twin if you try to import square from lib it will be added now for the namespace here so now it is more visible to you if you try to import asterisk the square and someone in function will be also visible dire function one of the things that we use as a utility to understand what is happening for example if you notice that uh, there is something that is invisible then maybe it's a good idea to try to run the dire function so that you know what is really visible now and what isn't the last thing is sometimes in rare cases uh, you might need to reload a module that you are running uh, this, this might seem a little off topic uh, uh, and this might happen because you know someone updated uh, a module during running like let's say you're running your code and you change it a, a small thing in your code you might try to uh, call import lib import lib dot reload my module it is going to reload your module although your whole application is running other because remember we discussed that the module is run is, is loaded only once but what if I change it during the running of the application you can reload it this way that's all